All right, let's continue on um, eighth grade. I can see here we still have a negative three. We're just going to ignore that there for now. I bet that'll come into play later. So let's find the slope of this line. We can see I've got a point here and a point here. So I got to go from one point to the other. If I were to start at this point, I could go down three, right two. So I go down three, right two. And when I go to write that slope, that's going to be negative three on top because that's my up and down number. The bottom number is going to be two and my slope is negative three halves. I could also do it the other way. And what if I did it this way? I, like I said, I always like to go up and down first. But let's say you start at this point and you decided to go right two, down three. That's not wrong. And you still should get the right answer because when I go to write this, oh, if I were to write this, it would be my up and down number still negative three. My left and right number still two. It's still negative three over two. So I had negative three over two for the slope for that one. So let's look at this one. You can see I got a point on this line at negative four, zero and negative two, seven. And when I look at this line, I know it's going to be positive because it's going up into the right. So when I go to find this slope, I go up. I count that I went up seven. So I put a plus seven. I go right two. So I put a plus two. And when I write this slope, it would just be seven over two. If I did it the other way, if I started at the point way up here, I'd go down seven, left two. And if I wrote that, the two negatives cancel out. It's still seven over two. You can see we're still getting the same answer. What if we have a horizontal line? So this line is horizontal. And if I were to think about this, so if I were to um, imagine that I was trying to find the slope of this line, if I, let's say I had a point, I, oh my gosh, it's a terrible point. So I had a point there and a point there. I know those points are awful, but it doesn't really matter. So if I were to go from this point to this point, how far up or down am I going? Well, I'm not. I'm only going right two. I'm going right two to get to that point. And that would just be plus two. But I'm not going up or down. So up or down would be zero. And my right would be two. And I would end up getting... Um, I would end up getting zero over two, which is just zero. So the slope of that line of a horizontal line is just zero. And you don't really need to write out any calculations. Anytime you see a horizontal line, it has a slope of zero. So now the question is, what if you had a vertical line? So if I followed the same idea and I tried to find the slope of this by having a point here and a point here, say, if I was trying to go from this point to this point, I would go down two, and that would be negative two. And so on top of my fraction would be negative two, because remember up and down, it goes on the top of the fraction. The bottom of the fraction is how far left or right go I'm going. Well, I don't go left or right, so that would be zero. And if you remember, you can't have zero on the bottom of the fraction. So when this happens, what our answer is, is no slope. You could also see that certain places called undefined. I would take either answer, whether you put no slope or undefined, either answer would be acceptable. So remember, a horizontal line has a slope of zero. A vertical line has no slope.